Okay, let's look at how to uh, paint uh, or apply colors to a part within Magix. Here I have a uh, rectangle and I'm going to go select the part from the list. So there is the, uh, the model, the box. I'm going to go to Texture and here this time we're going to go to Paint Part. But firstly I need to select a plane to apply my color to. So that is the plane selected. I could use a range of the uh, tools here. Let's go to Texture, Paint Part and pick a color. I can go here to the uh, color picker and choose any of the colors within here. I can click OK. I can go color marked and then OK to apply that color. I can carry on doing the same thing to uh, uh, the different faces. Again, texture, paint part. I could choose a different color this time. I could select a color from the color picker here. Click OK. Make sure to click color mark to apply that color. And there we have that color. Now if I want to, I can use this um, brush tool. I can select here a region. So what's happened here is that I've been unable to use this brush tool because this particular shape is formed from a very few number of triangles. Wireframe, sorry, triangle. So here I've got two triangles that form this surface. So what I need to do in order to do that, in order to use a paint tool, is to uh, subdivide the part. So let's see what happens there with a greater number of triangles. So I can go close. And now if I use my brush tool here, uh, I've selected a region of these triangles. And here now I can go back to texture, paint part, and let me choose now an alternative color. Color marked. There we go. Let's get rid of these uh, triangles. Now I can take this part and I can export this. VRML to have the color assignations. Let's save this as color box. Okay. So these colors have been saved as a color per vertex rather than as a texture. So again, if we go back to view the triangle, we can see that these colors have been applied where the triangles lie and following the triangles. And if I go back to GrabCAD, let's delete that. Let's go add models and add my color box. I can insert that into GrabCAD. And there we are. So those are the colors that I applied. Here are the default colors that I didn't change on the box.